Hi everyone, I thought you would all like to see my craft room or uh, my sewing room. So this is my basement and this was one of the reasons I picked this house to buy was because of the basement. The basement is a full size basement and it's just cement flooring but that's all right. And I made it into my craft sewing room. That that pink flamingo right there, he goes outside in the summertime. I just like to bring him in during the winter. So this here, I suppose I should uncover my machines so you can see them. That's my singer. That's one of my favorite machines. And here I, I have a lot of things covered so my cats don't get into them. That's a pin cushion, and that would not be good if the cats got into the pins. That's a lot of batting. This is a cart with some necessary items. <laughs> and over here, this is... I actually bought that off of Amazon, and that's all my fabric. And I sort it... I tried to sort it by color... And this is all folded on uh, comic book boards, so it fits nice. But yeah, each one of those is stuffed with fabrics. Got to have lots of fabric, you know. <laughs> and there's some wall hangings I made, some when I first started sewing. And this machine... This is a brother embroidery machine. And this is my favorite machine. This is the one I use often. This is my Juki. It's a semi-industrial, they call it. TL98E. And I actually got that for free. Um, because it wasn't working for the woman anymore. Um, underneath where the feed dogs drop, the button that lifted and raised the feed, feed dogs was stuck. But it was an easy fix. It was just a screwdriver fix. And there's some more items I have on the wall. And this here is just an old my old computer desk. And I made this board. It's an ironing board. So I have a custom ironing board. There's my iron. I had a super crazy nice expensive iron and I dropped it. So that was the end of my super crazy nice iron. <laughs> this is a heat press. And here's a cart I like to put the projects that I'm working on. I make a lot of these bags. I have all sorts of different kinds with different fabrics. And I also like to make these smaller bags and they're used with a foam batting that's a wool ironing mat and then over here I have some quilt tops and some finished projects in here that I need to get finished and I like uh, old sewing machines and this is, I bought a bolt of this. This is my Pellon foam batting. And there's some patterns there. And that's cork and so forth and such. And this basement does have a kitchen in it. Now the stove is unplugged, so nobody worry that that's going to accidentally turn on. That's unplugged. And I got a cutting, a die cutting machine. And all of these cupboards are filled with craft items so yeah and same this has just got extra kitchen stuff in it but yeah the kitchen works the sink and stuff works and over here I call this my project table this is where I will record projects that I'm making this is my cutting table that's an Accu quilt die machine. And this was the iron that I was using before I got my heat press. 
And that is some resin items and another dye machine that's vinyl right there. And I also like to paper craft, so lots of paper crafting items, Copics and other markers, Stampin' Up! markers. And that's a lot of extras. There's paper. Now this is, this is where I grow tomatoes. I'm not going to show you the inside, but my tomatoes, my tomatoes are growing well. And I like to collect dolls. Yes, I know it's creepy. But these are real born dolls, some of them. They're made to look like real babies. And again, like I said, yes, I know it's creepy, but it's my hobby. I can have whatever hobbies I want. There's some items I made up there. And some of these items were from my dad's home when he passed away. Some were not, but like the pop figures weren't. But there's his watches. And my dad always had a toothpick in his mouth, so there's some toothpick holders. And, uh, of course, he's from Wisconsin. I was born and raised, so Green Bay Packer fan. And then this room, oh, here's a chair. <laughs> That's a chair I had in my living room, but it was kind of big, so I took it out. And then this room, there's some more babies. These are silicone dolls. They're really super squishy, so I got silicone dolls. And I like American Girl dolls, so I have quite a few of those, but they are put away for right now. And, of course, more fabric, and there's some fur. This is where I keep all my yarn. I eventually want to get uh, tubs that you can see through. There's extra fabric, fleece, and minky. Flannel, stuffing, and this is my stamp, some of my stamp supplies. I got this at a silent auction, so I'm going to use it eventually. Uh, this is a quilting table. And, oh, let me flick on the light here. There's some more of my dolls. Those are masterpiece dolls. They're quite large. Some items that I have yet to put away or find a home for. Sewing machines. <laughs> I got lots of sewing machines. Another masterpiece doll, some extra clothes, seasonal clothing, and that is some stamps, more stamps, and more paper down there. But yeah, so I have lots of crafting items. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so I thought you would like a tour of my craft room. That there's, that's in that case, there's a scan and cut machine. One of my favorite items. And there is a microwave that's also unplugged. So if a person had to, they could live down here because there's a bathroom in the next room. Yeah, and, and again, there's another old antique sewing machine. This is filled with um, paper goods and... Uh, Double-sided tape. I love this tape. So every year they have a 50 or 40% off sale. That's when I buy it and I stock up. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour. And yeah, this is my happy place. And more sewing machines under, under here. That's a Husqvarna. And that Janome is actually at the Hello Kitty edition Janome. And that is my serger. That I just moved to another table when I want to use it. I almost forgot to show when I get into the groove of making certain items, I have custom acrylic templates made out. And I got them all hanging here. And this is for corners and zipper tabs here. I use the cutout part. But boy, those those really make uh, making certain projects easier because I can cut them out faster. <laughs>